Welcome back to this Tuesday, the 16th of June on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Some people out there are about like, hey, see, it's Lubo Shabe today. We are eating our youth, eh? <laughs> We're eating our youth. That's exactly what it means. <laughs> all right, so you know what? It is all about Youth Day today, and it's a day on which we remember the power of the younger nation. We celebrate the brave students who defended their right to equal education, and we commemorate those who lost their lives in the struggle. Yeah, now made in 2006, there's a film by Porsche Rangkwane called Tieti, My Hero. And it's a 58-minute South African documentary that does just that. It celebrates the life story of Tieti Mashinini, the unsung hero of the 1976 Soweto student uprisings. And the film broadcasts on SABC3 today at 1 p.m. So be sure to check it out. Yeah, exactly. Let's take a quick look at what it's all about. Mashinini was also a very deep-thinking young man. He was actually willing you know, to walk the walk. CSC was a go between for, for a long time, long before June the 16th. student in South Africa is being fed the type of education that will, make, that will domesticate him to become a better tool for the white man when he joins uh, the working community. You had no power. Mm. You couldn't, you know, never mind do anything. You couldn't say anything. That is, my hero. that is brilliant. That is yeah. absolutely brilliant. Now, this is all about, I mean, more than 30 years, Tietzi, um, at the tender age of 19, he led hundreds of thousands of students through the streets of Soweto in a march that was to change the course of history in South Africa. And uh, today, the name Titi Mashinini has assumed heroic and cult status in the minds of millions of South Africans, and it's very clear to see why as yeah. well. Now, the documentary explores the courageous and articulate young man's life as a symbol of the black consciousness movement. And as the most wanted man by government in 1976, we're given a bit of an insight into how Tietzi was forced into exile into West Africa and also about his untimely death and the circumstances that were very mysterious surrounding his death. So a moment for us to really just take on board the, the actual history around 1976 and what it means uh, that we celebrate Youth Day today. Absolutely. Now, this is a story that's it's creating awareness about Youth Day and also how far we have come as a country. And uh, so make sure, be sure to catch the documentary today. It's uh, screening on SABC3 at 1 p.m. That's SABC3 at 1 p.m. today, um, especially if you're in Cape Town. It's nice and rainy outside. <laughs> to grab a branca, just sit in front of the TV and catch it. It's going to be absolutely, just just really just sharpening us up in terms of, you know, really how far we've come and actually what went down exactly in 1976. And while you're at it, continue to share your thoughts with us on Expresso Morning Show SABC3. That's our Facebook page. And at Expresso Show on Twitter using hashtag Expresso Show. Tell us what this day means to you.